All right, so we got uh, uh, 70 pounds of aluminum out of 99 pounds of raw materials that we melted down. That's not a bad yield. And uh, we got a lot of stuff to uh, do some projects with and, and the gifts and stuff. You're probably wondering about uh, what are these holes doing in uh, these gongs here. I tend, intend on uh, taking them out and uh, and seeing what uh, will happen whenever you shoot them. You know, I, I know a 45 ACP will uh, barely dent them. I want to see what a 223 and then 308, 30 out six, and such will do to them. But I'll show you uh, on another video on how to get the hole in here. That's really easy. You can figure it out. All right, our next video is going to be uh, on your tools, tools that you, uh, you're you going to need, stuff that uh, will make your life a lot easier and, and such, and also uh, your refractory cements. We've used, uh, on our first foundry furnace, we used the, uh, the Harvested Walker refractory cement. That worked out fine for us. We still have our central body and our lid, and uh, <clears throat> on this new furnace, we use the uh, United States Refractory. That's the uh, low cast 3000. That's good for 3000 degrees. So <clears throat> I think that's cast iron. As far as we go is uh, copper and brass and aluminum brass, which is 10% uh, aluminum with 90% copper. It gives a real hard alloy and it does not uh, corrode. So we're going to close for now and uh, we're, uh, we'll get back with you on the tools and uh, some kinks and things to make your life a lot easier and, and such. We've been at this for, this is our second season. And uh, I'm thinking we probably ought to know a little bit about uh, this. We don't know everything. I'm not a professional. But uh, this is what you can do. So that, that'll be it for today. And we thank you for watching. And, and have a good Saturday. Thank you.